Hey, Dr. Coleman, how do I get my energy back after quitting opioids? You know, that's, along with insomnia, getting your energy back is the number one thing that people complain of after any kind of opioid uh, detoxification. And why is that? Well, I used to think the endorphin system, your body's natural endorphins uh, that go to those endorphin receptors, turn the switch on. I used to think that was all just for pain relief because it seemed like that's what it was. Endo, meaning from within morphine, endorphins, uh, was a natural painkiller. But over the years, we've now realized that, that endorphins actually give people energy and it's probably even more important than their pain relieving uh, effects. And that's why people who are runners and people exercise, they'll talk about getting endorphin high. Really what they're talking about is feeling vibrant and alive and energetic and motivated and, and ready to do stuff. Uh, you know, I've had patients say when they use their heroin or their street drugs, they feel like superwoman. They can do anything, go to the store, you know, run around, do whatever they want. Well, guess what? You don't get anything for free. So when people use these artificial drugs, these opioids that go to the endorphin receptors, the body stops making its own endorphins. And so it's depleted. And so no matter what it, opioids you've been using, your body will be depleted of, of endorphins. Uh, and so you'll have low energy. It's just the way it is. Our detox, you know, we give small doses of naltrexone to push the endorphin, the, the opioids out a little bit faster. So it helps the brain recover a little bit better. So that does actually seems to shorten the post-acute withdrawal period with low energy. Um, what else can you do? Well, the obvious thing is to exercise and to push your body to do things that build natural endorphins up. And we know what that is. It's exercising, it's, it's motivating, it's getting, getting around, it's not sitting on the couch and complaining about how bad you feel. It's getting up and about and doing things, getting good sleep, eating, eating well, nutrition, hanging out with friends so you're not always just thinking about how bad you feel. All of these kind of tricks can really help you feel better <clears throat> and it becomes a vicious cycle. So the more you do, the more you want to do. And so it's really important to, to not just sit around and complain about how bad you feel. It's push yourself almost like boot camp to get yourself moving because that will then build on itself. You'll sleep better. You'll have more energy. You'll be more motivated. You'll do things. And, and of course, always have confidence that no matter how bad you feel, it is going to get better all the time. It just gets better and better and better all the time. But it often gets better when waves. So there'll be days where you feel really good. Other days you might feel like you're going backwards. So what? You will get better if you look at the, the, a longer time frame. So once you get off the drugs, you will improve. You will get back to normal. Uh, don't worry about it, but you've just got to go through it. But, you know, work your program. Hang around with friends who have, have gone through it, who can help you, support you, motivate you when you're not feeling like it.